today we reflect on a very important theme which is part of the catholic faith in the book of ephesians and paul says that we are not aliens we are not strangers on this earth when god has brought us into the world through our baptism we become the children of god and we are united in the structure of god called known as the church in which the lord jesus himself is the foundation and we have the saints and the prophets to be part of that great structure which is known as our faith known as the communion of the saints why do the catholic church be honored and even we seek the intercession and help of the saints the reading of today first reading teaches us that we are structured together along with jesus christ as the foundation and the prophets and the apostles and the saints they are part of our lives they continue to intercede for us if we read in first john chapter 2 where we find jesus christ with his precious blood he is interceding for all of us he is praying for all of us so the lord jesus through his blood he intercedes for us he prays for us on the cross we knew jesus crying i thirst i thirst for my people so we are not ordinary people we may go through various type of problem struggles pain in the world misunderstandings but we have a god jesus christ who turns everything into good so he intercedes for us to supply his strength in our weakness yes we read if we read in the book of second king chapter 13 verse 14 onwards elisha a great servant of god who raised up the dead he became sick but he was a great intercessor he lived during his lifetime he loved people he did many miracles and now he became very sick and he was about to die up then the, the king jovas of israel he went down to him and saying my father my father chariot and horses of israel you know what elisha told him take a bow and arrow he took the bow elisha then said to him draw the bow and the king drew the bow then elisha put his hand on the king's hand and said open the window towards the east he opened it elisha then said shoot it and he shot elisha said yahweh's arrow of victory arrow of victory over aram you shall defeat aram in a black until you utterly destroy them and he added take the arrows and strike the ground with them he struck three times so the man of god became angry at him and said you should have struck five or six times then you would have struck down aram completely but now you will strike down aram only three times 
Here the word of God very clearly teaches us. The Bible says in the word, God gives the prophets as a gift to us. Now the prophet is transmitting his power to the king. Joas is known for a man who had fear of God. So the power of God from Elijah, it was transferred to Elisha. Now Elisha transfers to the king. He puts his hand on the hand of the king and says, now shoot. Shooting at the window towards the east. Because Aram is a very powerful king. But you should have the trust in the Lord. And you should hit at them any amount of time. But Joe was only hit three times. So he said, you will strike three times. So we have to believe when God has given me the power. There is nothing to stop me. I move with the power of God. I move with the anointing of the prophet. That's what God wanted the king to have it. And that's what God gives to each one of us. We are being built with Jesus Christ as the foundation. And we are built with the prophets, the apostles and the saints means all that they have yearned, the anointing God has given to them, they continue to transmit to the people on this earth. So we are all united with them, though we are on this earth. Sometimes we may ask, if they are dead, okay, when Elisha was alive, he could transmit his power to the king, Joas. What about when he is dead? We read from verse 20 onwards, now Elisha is died. And buried. The prophet is died and buried. Now, without knowing that Elisha died, in a particular village, there was a man who was very sick. And they were praying, praying. Suddenly, that man died. He's a very important man. So the whole village, they said, we will take this dead man to Elisha. Because Elisha has raised up so many people. So now, come on, let's go. So they were carrying. Elisha was buried in a desert. You know, if you have gone to Israel, you will know. It is fully desert. Hardly you find trees. So they buried him in a very lonely place away from the town. And they, when they came to Elisha's place, they said, Elisha is no more. He died. Then they did not know what to do. Then one fellow said, come on, let's take this fellow to Elisha's graveyard and we will pray there. So they took the body, they reached the graveyard. They were about to step, keep it down See, in this lonely place, at least four fellows are carrying, you know. The four fellows have a nice four purses will give. So some thieves that, come on man, these fellows are helpless. They are carrying. They will have heavy. So they will not run. We will go and catch them and take away the money from them. So the thieves are running to catch these fellows. So these four guys, what did they do? What is the use of carrying this dead man? We have to take care of ourselves. So they threw the dead man on the graveyard of Elisha and they were running for life. But the moment this dead body fell on Elisha's graveyard, this fellow also, the dead fellow got life. He was also running. That's what the Bible says. Meaning, Elijah transmitted God's anointing power to Elisha. Elisha transmitted to King Joas. And even after death, 
he continues to intercede for his people whomever comes to him that's why in the catholic church we believe the communion of saints so we pray today that we are not alone you are not aliens you are not strangers on this earth when you go through problems when you go through disturbances you have the blood of jesus to forgive your sins and to intercede for you on the other hand we have the saints we have the pro- prophets we have the apostles who are also to help us to live our christian life to live our call close your eyes and pray.